The Dunkettle Interchange project has reached another milestone in its construction progress. The last of the 135 bridge beams needed to complete the project were placed on structures 3 and 4 at the end of February 2023. This brings the 215 million euro project one step closer to its proposed quarter 1 2024 completion date. The proposed development involves the reconfiguration of the existing Dunkettle interchange to a free-flowing interchange in so far as practicable. That is to say, traffic will not come into conflict with opposing traffic movements, either by yielding or stopping at traffic signals, as is the case with the existing interchange. Started in October 2020, the project is one of the most complex ever undertaken in the Irish Republic, as it re-engineers the intersection of a number of key national routes, namely, the M8 N8 Dublin to Cork Road, the N25 Cork to Waterford Road, the N40 Southern Ring Road, through the Jack Lynch Tunnel, and the Cork Cove Railway Line. The new junction arrangement will incorporate four new roundabouts, 52 structures of various forms, including 12 bridges, 9 culverts, where the scheme crosses watercourses or intertidal areas. A new link road to the R623 Regional Road in Little Island. Intelligent transport systems and pedestrian and cyclist facilities. The project has been described by an on-site engineer as akin to performing open-heart surgery on a patient that is not just conscious, but playing tennis. The interchange currently handles almost 100,000 vehicle movements a day, and, one of the biggest challenges has been traffic management, and keeping delays to motorists to a minimum. Where possible, nighttime works have helped keep disruptions to traffic at a minimum, and other disruptive work has been synchronized with the scheduled, Jack Lynch tunnel maintenance closures. The tight and restricted workspace, in which the construction works have been carried out, have frequently been performed in very close proximity to traffic, has been a particular challenge for the T. Another major challenge faced by the contractor, CISC, have been the soil conditions on the site. Much of the works area is located on alluvial silts and clays of the Lee Estuary and the surrounding marsh and wetlands. The mud and silt varies in depth across the site and ranges from 20 to 200 feet deep in places. These poor ground conditions necessitated extensive stabilization works across the entire site. These comprised of excavate and replace, prefabricated vertical drain piling and surcharge, and controlled modulus piling. These piling techniques, carried out at 1.3 meter intervals across the entire site footprint, allow for the removal of groundwater, consolidation of the load-bearing earth, and subsidence suppression. The project is also using the reinforced side slope method for its embankments. This construction method helps reduce its footprint, which in turn, helps reduce the potential for ground settlement. The vegetated side walls will also help blend the final structures into the final landscaped environment when complete, and reduce its visual impact on the surrounding environment. Retaining the tidal flows in and out the intertidal areas is a major consideration of the current project, as there are diverse habitats and species in close proximity to the existing roadway, despite the current interchange and local industries providing round-the-clock disturbance from noise and light. Other challenges facing the team was the reinforcing of a major gas network's Ireland main running through the site and the reinforcing and replacement of 255 meters of a Irish water trunk main, supplying all of Little Island. Also necessitated as part of the upgrade works, were countless ESB diversions, as well as many phone and telecom lines, which had to be rerouted, to accommodate the new interchange layout. The project is expected to need to import 450,000 meters cubed of material onto the site, to construct the carriageway foundations and embankments, however, nearly all the excavated spoil material, will be reused on site, for embankment landscaping and shaping. A total of 65,000 tons of bituminous materials will be required to construct the new carriageway during the road surfacing works. Expected to be complete and open to traffic in the coming weeks are Link F, which will divert traffic coming from Cork City into the Jack Lynch Tunnel, and Link B, which will improve traffic flows for traffic heading north from the Jack Lynch Tunnel wishing to go to Cork City. The finished project 
will incorporate the very latest in intelligent transport systems, with extensive CCTV and variable matrix display signage on all approaches to the interchange, which will be controlled by the Motorway Control Center in Dublin. Although many new links are now completed and open to traffic, the remaining link tie-ins will be the most challenging over the coming months. Many of the now completed links were able to have been constructed in an offline manner, whereas many of the remaining links will impinge on the existing interchange layout. That being said, the 200 strong team are well on their way to completing the project within the quarter 1, 2024 timeframe, and as of March 2023 the project remains on schedule and on budget.